Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. We're on a four streak right now. Once once my streak ends, we'll start doing deleted. We get um, Tainted Azazel. We'll go for him. He sounds like a fun bag of tricks. Where are you, my, my good dude? There you are. Tainted Azazel. He's quite a fun one. He's quite a fun one. The, 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 the mini thin brim. I, I quite like it just because... Ooh, hello. Little baby. Little baby off the start. The thin brim is just... Brimstone has so many, like, interesting potential synergies. that I, I quite like just having thin brim off the bat. Also, the, um, the belch, the sneeze, whatever you want to call it. Pretty nice. Just for being able to move stuff around. I'll take this pill right off the bat. Infested. Not exactly great, but... Decent, and I, I kind of like the rework that they ended up doing to the, um, oh lord, you are moving at some speed, my dude. I do not like that. Okay, there you go. You, you're taken care of. But yeah, I really like the, uh, the change that they made to just do the sneeze whenever you start up a brimstone beam. I think it's a much better way of doing it. I think it really is. Um, and for the question of the day today, what's the best party you've been to or had? What is the best party you've ever been to or had? For me, I'm like, I'm a person that's like not big into parties. And it, it depends really how you define a party. I mean, some people define a party as like going on out on a night out. That just ain't for me. Um, ooh, we got some good stuff here. I think Book of Despair is definitely better. Uh, so I think I should probably take that. But Book of Cosmos has a little bit more tendency to be a bit more interesting, I think. I think I'm going to take Book of the Cosmos. Cosmos, whatever you want to call it. I think it just has potential to be a little more interesting. Good, good. Thank you. Um, yeah, because like some people describe like a, a sort of party as like going out on a night out. That just ain't for me. But I've like I quite often um, am the person among my friend group like at school and college who um, oh mask of infamy. That's a really nice respray of mask of infamy as well. I like that. Um, I was always the person that uh, sort of hosted the parties, um, mainly just because I had like the best house for it. I think. Um, well, well, I wouldn't have a great house, but I had like my own loft, so I had like my own room that was away from everyone else, sort of thing. So I think that was partially why. Got to remember this is an XL floor as well here. Stay away from me, you little beady-eyed fucker. Thank you. And we get Bursting Sack as well, which isn't anything impressive, but it does give us a little bit of protection early game from spiders, which I do really appreciate, so I'm not going to turn my nose up at that. We'll buy a Soul Heart off the bat here. Destroy the fires here, because why not? Um, and so, yeah, I don't, I, like, for me, I'd often just have, like, a house party rather than going out or anything. Um, I haven't really had any sort of big extravagant parties thrown for me. I've been to one that I partially... Organized. I spoke spoke about it from a question of the day a few weeks back, actually, about my mum's birthday party for her 50th, where we got, like, a bunch of her friends and kind of made her think that it was some sort of charity event. Um, and I'm going to say she really enjoyed that. So that was a, that was a pretty nice party. Um, but I've not really been into anything, like, super posh or anything. I've been to a good few house parties, like, in college. To be fair, this one was wild. I went to a house party in college um, that was... It was one of those house parties where it was like, this guy had just invited his mates, me being one of those, which is nice at least. But um, yeah, had just invited some of his mates and ended up um, having like hun like a hundred people turn up and it was it, it got a bit wild. Um, Binky's really nice here as well. I'm trying to dip out and then dip back in so I can actually get drops out of uh, out of the poops. Can't get drops out of them if they're if they spawned in the room for some reason when it's that boss. Okay. Try and get this going on. I don't see the brimstone's curse on you, but it's definitely affecting them. Very nice way to defeat those enemies. Glass eye there. I'm gonna risk it and take a devil deal here. Um while I do love Flyboy, it is the glitchiest motherfucking thing ever, and I hate it. So I'm and it's a really good thing to get early on, but it causes the game to lag real bad. So let's just take money equals power and try and save up some dollar dollar skrilla. Good, good, good. And health is still looking pretty good as well. Uh I will take downpour here, because why not? A bomb. Oh no. But yeah, this house party was very wild. Um, so like I said, way too many people turned up, so there was just too many people in the house, and I think he'd, it was a house party that he'd had, um, like, while his parents were away, like, without their permission as well, so obviously the house got kind of trashed, 
and he got in a bit of shit for it. Um, from what I remember, obviously there was a good amount of people doing drugs and stuff. That's just standard for a college party, pretty much. Um, was not partaking myself, but that seems to be a pretty standard practice when you go to a college party. Um, and, um, yeah, uh, the, there was quite a few things that got broken. So, the table downstairs, because it was a three-story house. Like, I think that's why he had a house party, because he just had a really nice house for it. But, um, oh, hello, sneaky boy. Um, it was a three-story house, and yeah, there was, on the bottom floor... A table got broken. There was an outside shed where his mum would, uh, like, it was like a home office where his mum would kind of work out of. Um, and that got absolutely trashed. Um, I, I realised that I need my money for damage, but it's still pretty good to grab. Um, yeah, uh, the people, like, snuck in there. They weren't, obviously weren't supposed to go in there. And they absolutely trashed it. Um, to the point of, like, apparently he had to ring up his mum's work friends to come in and repair it without telling his mum, which honestly, those people are absolute Gs. That's amazing that they that they did that. Um, I can't believe they did. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, they came in and like sorted it out for him. Uh, as well as that, yeah, like I said, the table broke downstairs. The the banister, um, the, the like, do you know when you go downstairs, they've got all the like the slots in the banister someone had like knocked a few of those out like snapped the wooden beams out of the uh out of the slots someone else had um for some reason picked up the um the basin lid of the toilet and dropped it on the toilet thus breaking the the lid and breaking the actual toilet bowl as well um someone someone um fell down the stairs and broke a, a glass bottle and a bit of glass got stuck in their ass, in their ass cheek, and they had to get an ambulance. Um, as well as um, me having to, I say having to, obviously I just thought it was the right thing to do, protecting someone from getting raped, because goddamn people are the worst. There was, um, uh, there was a per- so basically, we were all, um, upstairs. So, like I said, it was three stories. On the third story, that was like his bedroom, and most of us, or most of my friend group at least, it's like, like I said, there was a lot of people there. Most of my friend group, oh hello, um... I think we take that. I kind of want to take that too. Can I take this if I have less less than enough health? I'm gonna find out. Cool. I know that I'm respawning here, so not playing the same character anymore, but that is a lot of damage to gain. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> um yeah, so we we were all um we were all upstairs. And um we were all like laying on the floor because there wasn't enough there wasn't enough beds or anything. So everyone was laying on the floor. Um and I, I, like, I was there with, like, three or four people, one of which I didn't know very well, um, but I, I knew from a friend of a friend that she was pretty shy, and, um, I think she had some past trauma in her life. I can't, I don't remember the exacts, but she definitely, um, had visible, visible, um, self-harming marks, so I knew that she'd been through some shit. Uh, she she earned it. She, like she she didn't like try to hide it or anything. She was like, not obviously not proud of it, but like she she'd kind of realized what what happened and was accepting of it sort of thing. Which I think is I'm not saying people have to be this way, but I think that is always a little bit better for your own sort of recovery. Um, ooh ooh hoo hoo. Book of Belial becomes a passive item. Um, grants Book of Belial if Judas is not currently holding it. The damage boost grants scales with the amount of charges the active has. Grants special effects to certain actives. Really cool. Really, really cool. I love that. Um, did lose some damage there, but that's fine. And, and yeah, so we're all sleeping on the floor. And there was this dude that... I don't know if it was just because he was really drunk or a creep. But probably just a bit of both. Because I, this is one thing, just just a small tangent here. When people do stuff and blame it on being drunk, there is a certain extent to which that is okay. But 
most of the things, I feel like people say that you're out of control when you're drunk, and obviously there's, there's blackout drunk that is a little different where you just truly have no control over yourself. I wouldn't say truly, but like very, very little. But I think even in those circumstances, you are still able in the moment to know what is wrong and what is right. If you are the sort of person that goes feeling people up because you're drunk and then you blame it on being drunk, you're not you're not saying that the alcohol made you do it. You're saying that the alcohol enabled you to do it. You're basically t saying that you were able to justify yourself doing it because you were drunk. You were able to use use alcohol as a way to enable your shitty behavior. Oh, also, I need to check again. Is um, Repentance Plus fixed? It seems like it is. I just got a, a heart drop that I shouldn't normally get. No, it's not. Maybe I already had the Baleful one unlocked. Anyways, let's do... Um, you can see I was testing a bunch of stuff. You can see a bunch of spawn entities there. Um, R plus... I keep forgetting to do this when I start off. Unlock. Oh, cool. Just so we can try and get some of the other stuff from that mod showing up, which I'd very much like to see. Um, yeah, so, like, I was going to say, oh, maybe because we were drunk, but that doesn't, that doesn't justify anything. And I, th I feel like some people justify their really shitty behavior by being like, oh, well, I was just drunk. Like, if you were willing to do it when you were drunk, you were probably willing to do it when you were sober. You just knew that you couldn't. That's, that's a big problem. But anyways, enough tangenting on that bullshit. Um, so this person, like I said, was probably quite drunk. I mean, everyone was. But uh, we were all sleeping on the floor and pretty much everyone had gone to sleep at this point. It was probably like four or five in the morning. It was very, very early. But... I was slept next to um, my friend, because my, unfortunately my girlfriend couldn't be there that night, she was working. Uh, but I was slept next to the fr one of the friends that I went there with, and then another friend, and then this this girl that I didn't know very well. I said I didn't know very well, she was part of my friend group, and she hadn't spoken to her one-on-one -on -one very much. Um, well, no, I didn't get any more keys there. But anyways, um, and this dude was like, sort of edging closer, because obviously I was kind of in the middle, like kind of imagine... I don't, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe how we were laid. Kind of imagine, um, I was, so she was all the way on the right. I was to the left of her. My other friend was to the left of me. And this guy was kind of below us near our feet. Um, and like, I was still awake at this time. I, to be honest, when I drink, I, I, I have trouble sleeping just generally. But yeah, I was, I was still awake at this time. And I, I just kind of noticed that there was like, some movement going on below me like I just felt someone like wriggling around of course, of course I didn't really think much of it at first like people are gonna move in their sleep and stuff but then I noticed that um th this girl that was that was next to me was kind of like squirming a little bit she was like sort of shuffling away um hmm Let's see if we can get some more HP out of this Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Um, oh, my fucking wisps are going wild again. God damn it. Gonna go one play on this. Yeah, that was not a very good item, but <laughs> I got an item out of it, so there you go. Right, let's get out of here. Um, yeah, so I kind of noticed someone like moving around a little bit. Um, and she was, yeah, she, she looked... She seemed, obviously, it was kind of dark. It wasn't, like, fully dark, because by this point, it was kind of early hours in the morning, so there was some light coming through. And, yeah, I just noticed she was looking uncomfortable. And at first, I didn't really think much of it, but then there was, like, a, a very sudden, um, like, sort of jolt movement next to me, and I was like, okay, this seems, something seems weird. She's either, because at first, I thought she was maybe having, like, a seizure or something, because, or, like, she was just, like, having a nightmare, because she was, like, she, like, she'd kind of been squaring out a little bit, a bit, a little bit, and then she kind of jolted, and then I realized that this guy below was, like, touching her with his foot, and I was like, eh, fuck no, what the fuck are you doing? So I just, like, completely body blocked him, um, and... I, I, 
honestly, I kind of wish I'd have just stood up and said something. I think people in the room would have just beaten the fuck up if they'd have known about it. I didn't at the time. I wasn't really thinking about it. I wasn't a very confrontational person either, so. But anyways, I just, like, body blocked the hell out of him. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, no. So I kind of, like, subtly kicked the dude away and kind of, like, formed a shield. <laughs> I kind of, like, placed my body, like, directly between his and hers so that he couldn't get nearer and oh it just pissed me off so much like i said i, I wish i was I, i'd probably now be more confident in uh also this this is a great item to get with um money equals power um but i wish i'd have been more confrontational at the time because definitely something should have been said he should have been called out for that shitty behavior and it's an I, i'm annoyed at myself for not but at the same time i feel like at least at least it was stopped and yeah like like i said that so already it's pretty troublesome all, all round, that is something that should never happen to anyone. It's very troublesome. But, like I said, I was fairly sure, and I'd, I'd been told certain things, that this this person had already been through some either similar or, or on the same level sort of stuff in her past. So, I I think it really would have messed her up. Uh, the D12? I don't know. The D12? Um, I might take the D12 over the book. Because it's, it's, it's got a, a quicker charge, and I really do like the D12, the new D12 at least. It's quite fun. But yeah, so I was, yeah. It was, it was gross. It was gross. It was, it's, it's kind of annoying as well, because it was a really fun party, like, pretty much through and through. Like, I had a good time, all my friends that were there had a good time, and that kind of just capped off the night with, really? Really? This has got to happen? It's, it's luckily it's the only experience I've had with anything like that. It's not super common for people that I know or around people that I know, so that's good. But it still shouldn't be happening at all, should it? Also, where the hell's all the rocks at? Why why are people gotta be so shitty? Why are people gotta be like that? I don't, I, I didn't even actually know, like, who it was or anything either, so it's not even like I could say, like, after the party, I could, like, tell the guy that owned the house and kind of, like, report him, so to say. I didn't even know who it was, because, like I said, it was still a bit dark, and I was just, I was, I was, like, like, still pretty drunk and a little bit sleepy, so I wasn't really thinking straight either. It was just kind of like, do what I can right now, and that's it. Right, what else is over here? Secret room, maybe? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Love the way these can drop so many coins. Try and do the deaths list and all, let's see if we can get some extra stuff. We got a golden pill. Pins and, pins and needles. Oh, literally just a one-use pins and needles, thanks. Where's all the bloody damn stupid, stupid fucking rocks at? God damn, there's no rocks on this floor. It's annoying. Boom bow. Good, good. Damage is climbing up quite high. Let's get out of here. Let's vamoosh. But yeah, that was uh, that was quite the tangent there. But it's kind of like that was a, that was a sort of repressed memory that thinking about that party sort of brought back up, and then I realised I'd never really spoken about it before, like properly. Need more bombs. Excuse me? What the hell? <laughs> I got a soul high out of it, but that's not what I was expecting. We should have used the reroll in here to get rid of these spiked rocks. That would have been more preferable. I think he's in brimstone phase now, isn't he? Haha, -ha, your spiders do nothing to me, good sir. Oh shit, spider's still there. 
Old bandage. Why the hell not? It's a soul heart, at least. Down we go. <sighs> yeah, wacky times. Wacky times. I also, I went to another party before, to someone's house that I, I wasn't really friends with. It was my girlfriend's friend that I didn't really know very well. And, um... Pretty much the first thing I did once I got drunk was break because uh, it was a grandma's house not her house And it, literally the first thing I did when I entered the house was I broke their um, they had like a, a Like stand in the shower that like I don't know how best to describe it um, ugh. They had like a stand in the shower that like held all of your toiletries and I just broke it immediately I don't even know how like why was I why was I even in the bath? Ow no! <laughs> Damn you. Okay. Some bad damage here, but it's okay. Also, we've got some keys now, so we can open all these chests. One of these better give me a key back. Thank you. I'll take that. Why not? Looking for a better room to use my, uh, my dice on. And I find this room, which I'm like, ooh, this will be full of rocks. No, it won't. It'll be full of disappointment. Ooh, that was close. Oh, we got a full immortal heart from that guy, look. Nice. Got some bombs back as well. Crack that open. Oh, bugger. I, did, I just realized I got myself a one-up. Which is good, but I just lost all of my damage. I lost six damage there. I was a little stupid. I should have I should have realized I'm not taking any more money. I wasn't even thinking about that. I mean, a one-up is nice to have, I will say. And we still have a good amount of damage. And obviously we'll get more. But, still. I keep forgetting that they don't count as passive enemies still. Oh, we got a rainbow dude here, I didn't realize. Hello, good sir. What are you going to drop for me today? Good old rainbow champion. The sextant. I'll take the sextant. I quite like it. Actually, mm, I don't know. Counterfeit penny. I kind of forgot we had that. That's been doing a really good job. Oh, that was stuck between a rock and a hard place there. That in here, see if we get anything good from it. I don't know if we can roll rocks into the Mario rocks. I don't think we can. Oh, this thing's a little annoying, isn't it? Right, check this out. I soul heart. Mask of Infamy is helping a ton. Good, good. I didn't realize they could re like they could re-enter their host body. Kill them all. They're taking the piss. You taking the piss. You need to die quickly. You are a very annoying enemy. It's not in our item room yet. It's always annoying when you just miss it. Not got any great pulls from our, D um, our D12 yet, to be honest. Nothing amazing. Right, let's go back and get our item room real quick. See what's crack a lacking over there. Hey. It's nice. I do also realise that I've just missed boss rush pretty much. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I accept that. Do these guys still attack me? I have no idea. They're still spiders, so maybe not. Oh god. Didn't realise you were going to smash me like that. Chaos Heart. Heals one red heart after five uses. Has a chance to do Mama Mega Explosion and remove the item... Guaranteed to explode at nine uses. Hmm. 
Okay. While it does mean getting rid of the D12, this guarantees us access to Bosch Rush, which I kind of like the idea of. We don't need the healing of it either. Basically, we use nine heals to get a guaranteed uh, explosion. We go into Bosch Rush, we steal what we want, and we come back and get the D12, I guess. Seems to work out for me. Probably didn't need to actually use the, uh, the bomb there. Excuse me, you just hit me. How dare you. Miss all the damage I used to have. <laughs> I was at like 17 or 18 damage, I think. At the cap. Nice. I will take the negative here because I want damage. I will check this out. Nothing in here I really want. Another webbed heart. I really don't like the webbed hearts. I think they need to need to be axed from the game. Boom. Get that as well. Nice. Wait, where's my zealot heart gone? Is it just underneath the webbed heart? And then, oh, you've got to be kidding me, game. You've actually got to be kidding me. It's done it again. It's done it again, people. This is the third time. Third time so recently that I found this game break. Now, this does mean I won't be able to gain money anymore, but we're at the last floor, we need money. The only problem is we're going to lose out on some damage. Give me that back. Use this just as a teleport. Yeah, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, if you have the Mario Heart plus Temptation, things get real wacky real fast. <clears throat> and it makes you it makes you nigh unkillable. It makes you pretty much invincible. Watch. Oh look. One of these. What happened there? Oh, uh, it deleted all of my money. And it gave me a one-up. <laughs> how curious. How very curious. Oh, look. We got the fungi transformation. How very bizarre. Yeah. Every single one of these things we grab gives us a one-up. It's a really, really... Really, 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 really broken glitch. <laughs> but I literally haven't seen this glitch in uh, the longest time. Like, I'd, I'd literally never seen this glitch appear until about two weeks ago. And now this is the third time of me finding it. It's a really bizarre, bad interaction between two mods. And it creates something beautiful. By the end of this run, we're going to have like a hundred one-ups. It's just beautiful is what it is. It is just beautiful. In fact, we might as well take the um, missing page here. Because we have no need for counterfeit penny anymore. Out of here. Well, look more. <laughs> it's basically an underflow issue, where the 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 amount of money I have is underflowing, um, which is basically tricking the game into thinking that I've hit ninety nine. Because I've gone into the minuses, and it's 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 really some bizarre stuff. It's it's some it's some janky code, is what it is. But it's lovely, and for some reason it keeps it keeps presenting itself to me. And for that, I I I adore it. 
Well, hello, Satan. I love the fact that we can see where he's going now. That's so much better. Pop your damn tail up, you goober. Stop being a dick. Just wish this boss wasn't so damn terrible. Reworked bosses and furs mods. Where's the rework of this fucking stupid bastard? <laughs> he hasn't popped his damn tail up once yet. What are you doing? Come on. Just one time. There you go. Annihilate you once you've done that. Beautiful. A beautiful stream. Right, check what's down here. Not all that much, to be honest. The world doesn't actually do anything for us. Because I've got Curse of the Lost. Whoopsie. Boom, boom. Bang, boom. That's what I was looking for, a soul hurt. Not that I need it, but I was looking for it regardless. And yeah, every killing an enemy has a chance to drop one of these. Oh, dude, that's an even bigger glitch that I didn't know about. Okay, every single frame that I'm stood on one of those things as it spawns gives me another one up. <laughs> that's precious. But we just got to get right on top of them. Right as it spawns. Oh, God. <laughs> right, get out of here. What the- do, do, what, do, do you see that bullshit? Fucking- I can't believe that hit me. <laughs> I mean, I was being a bit uh, ferocious with my, um, with my push there, but still, come on now. There's certain enemies that I don't want to bother going for the uh, thingy with. Go for the glitch with, but when an enemy presents itself, I'll definitely try it. Oh, God. Don't like the way these things move. Tree boy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We got up to 80 there. Fuck yes. Beautiful. Right, where the hell am I going now? This way, I guess. Just for the damage up, I don't really care about the D12 effect here. Ninety-two, huzzah! These things scare the hell out of me. Right, 95, we're almost up to 100 already. Okay, take care of these guys, I'm not gonna worry about them. Dude, that tear, I can't. God damn, I love glitches. Glitches are just my favorite thing. Rid of all those metal blocks. Right, keep going. Okay, these guys always spawn them, so let's. 120! 
Hell yes! 131! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, right. 163! <laughs> My army is growing ever stronger. You cannot stop me. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. You're shitting out kids! What are you doing? Stop shitting out kids! I get that that's kind of what nature intended you to do, but stop. Not right. Shoot a bomb into the hole. Right, this is a room that I'm feeling like is incredibly skippable. But the boss is here, so I can't skip it. Damn you. Mask of infamy, you've served me so many times this room, thank you. Right, you stop right there, boy. Stay. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I said stay. I said stay. Right. Boss time. There's another few. 170. Here we go. Ow. Pop this for the damage up. Why not? Is this the most lives anyone's ever had? In a, in a normal, I say normal run, it's technically not a normal run, but you know what I mean. A normal run setting. It's not like I've spawned them in. I've just glitched them in. Ow. Check the devil deal. Ooh, what the hell? I have to... No! I really should have taken the Book of Belial there. That would have been very interesting. To have the Book of Belial in the Book of Belial. I'm not going to do Hush because it's going to be too long of a fight. But yeah, I should have taken the Book of Belial there to see what ha having the Book of Belial in the Book of Belial did. <laughs> that was my mistake. I, I, I realized it was a, pl a, pos a plausibility too late. Ow. That was rude. Oh no, I might die. What a shame. <laughs> Although, to be fair, it's not great because I don't want to be uh, doing the same room over and over and over again. These heads are a bit, a bit tricky. I do not like this room. This room is very horrible. Okay. Hey, one eighty six, baby. That's cool. Brimstone over here, so I can kill you. Or don't, whatever. I mean, I feel like this is kind of a freebie, isn't it? At this point, it's kind of a freebie. You see? Worth it. And this time we got an additional soul heart out of it. Huzzah. All worthwhile. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, it's the woman. Oh, hello. Little thing with the little teeth. Oh, that was lovely. That was very exciting to watch. Ow. Not so exciting on that part. It's okay, though. We got... Three more one-ups to add to the chain. Oh, you and you managed to dodge my bomb perfectly then. Congrats to you. Oh god damn, these guys are tricky. Oh, is this guy again? I love this boss, but god damn, does it have to be invincible for six years when it spawns? 
That, that, that time was really fast, but I've, I've had it a few other times where it's been invincible for so long. Ow. Wasn't expecting that. Ooh, a webbed heart. Thank you. How did I not get hit there? I do not know. I think we'll take the Fiend Folio here. I didn't realize that Folio just meant book. <laughs> folio is just like another... It's a, it's a, I think it's a type of book specifically. I think a Folio is a list of something. But it's in book format. So having like the Fiend Folio is basically just a list of, of fiends, a list of enemies, which is, makes all the sense for the mod. It's a good name for the mod. I, I never knew that before. I only learned that recently. Which a lot of other people may think is obvious, but I'm dumb. Ow. Oh, for God's sake, can we stop going the wrong way, please? It's getting really annoying. Also, I did not realize I could displace my mushrooms with a bomb. That's hilarious. Watch this. Boom. <laughs> I wish the train didn't follow me through rooms and kind of stretched throughout the entire floor. Thank you. Damn. We're gonna hit 200 before the boss, which is nice. Lovely. And here's the boss. We hit 218. Right. Hello, sir. Now, this might take a few attempts, I'll be honest. Thank you, Bat. If the foot hits me, I die, and I respawn outside the room, so... Oh, nope, doesn't matter, we got it. A few more one-ups there, just for, just for the road. I think I'd like nine more lives, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I really needed those extra nine lives. Thank you. Range down, damage up. Hello, Gish. I'd like to get up to 300 before the boss, but we'd have to get the right, um, oh shit. That room was not what I expected. I didn't realize the, uh, thingy there would, uh, be quite so mean about slamming down on me. The rocks firing at me. At least these guys are nowhere near a big of a pain anymore. Oh, there's still something alive in this room? Bloody spider. We got to 238 there, that's decent. Oh my god, that's a lot of bombs. Calm down, good sirs. A lot of bombs you're firing. Mask of Infamy saves me once again. Beautiful. Doing a fantastic job of that. Right, boss time. Where are you? Ooh, 256, not bad, not bad. 
267. We're getting there, we're getting there. Imagine re-rolling now. Like getting a D4 and just taking all these items and re-rolling them into everything else. I think that would be a little bit nutty. Right, we went completely the wrong way here, unfortunately. Apparently I have some way of seeing if they're up or down now. I don't know where I gained that power from. But it's now telling me whether they're going to give me money or not. Oh, ho, ho, we almost hit the big 3 over there. Almost. There you go. 300. But yeah, look, this one says it's going to give it give me a down. This one is also a down. It's got a little arrow on it. I don't know where that arrow has come from, but... Apparently having 300 one-ups has given me... Transcending powers. I don't care if you hit me. Is this, um, is this, I was just about to say, what, what version of pin is this? What kind of pin is this? What is going on with my screen? It's so dark. Okay, 304. Ooh, now this is this is a big get, maybe. This could be a room where we get quite a splendid amount of lives if we're uh, if we play our cards right. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Oh my god. Boss time, here we go. We finally found the boss. Oh no, we died again. What a shame. Anyways. Okay. We are good to go, boss man. Now we may die in this boss fight because we've only got one heart here. As, as demonstrated here. In fact, this fight might be kind of hard. Like, we have tons of lives. We literally cannot fail it. But it might take a good few attempts. Because, basically, if he fires all the homing shots, it's going to be kind of difficult. But, we have just beaten the hardest part of the fight, which is be beating his actual body. There you go. We're good. Anyways... 340 lives remaining. I think we're good to go and I'll see you guys in the next one.